don't have to be a rocket scientist to beat sports betting. In fact, a lot of the problems can be beaten just with high school algebra and geometry. I'm going to show you how to use the Pythagorean theorem from geometry to beat season wins in the NFL. The Pythagorean theorem says that for a right angle triangle with sides of length A and B, the hypotenuse can be figured out with this equation, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now there's a peculiarity in the NFL that the most effective way to guess how many games a team won last season without looking at its win-loss record is to look at how many points for it had, how many points against it had. If you assign a to be the number of points for, b to be the number of points against, then on average it's going to win a squared over C squared percent of its games. All right, I've cheated a little bit here. In 2007, Buffalo scored 252 points and allowed 354 points. So you're solving for 252 squared over the sum of 252 squared plus 354 squared, and it works out to be 0.336. That number tells you that with these stats, you'd expect Buffalo to win a little bit more than 33% of their games, or about a third. So in a 16 game season, you'd expect them to win five and a half games. Last year they won seven games, so that suggests that they were pretty lucky. So what does this 5.4 tell you about next year? If you want to make a projection for how many games a team will win next year, you take the number you get from the Pythagorean theorem, in this case 5.4 for Buffalo, and you move it a fourth of the way to eight. So in this case, it is 2.6 away from 8, so let's move it um, 0.7. So you'd expect Buffalo to win about 6.1 games this year. Now, if you want to put it all together, go to sportsline.com, look at last year's statistics, then create an Excel spreadsheet for each team, put points for, points against, and simply put in your formulas for the squares, win percentage, and when you're reverting to the mean, triple your season wins, add 8, and divide by 4. If you do your work, there's a few other plays that'll look good also. You might take a close look at Tampa Bay over 8 wins, Atlanta over 4.5, and, and Philadelphia under 8 wins. All those look pretty good using this methodology.